As promised, here's a quick uh, explanation for why the stratosphere behaves differently than some of the other layers in the atmosphere when we talk about uh, the temperature as we increase in that layer. We talked about earlier today, uh, we talked about how in the troposphere where we live, the taller you go in the atmosphere, like when you climb a mountain or climb a hill, the colder it gets because we see snow-capped mountains in places where near the ground, closer to the ground level, there is no snow. So that must mean that we're getting colder in the troposphere as we get higher. And this uh, diagram from our book shows that as this red line moves closer to the left, the temperature is getting lower. But that's in the troposphere. As we get into the stratosphere, the temperature starts to go the other way, which means our temperature is increasing. What we want to know is why does it happen right here? Well, the key in understanding this is knowing that inside the stratosphere lives the ozone layer. Now, the ozone is very efficient at transferring heat energy. And this is really the way that that happens. As the sun energy enters in the atmosphere, uh, ozone itself, as, as a gas, ozone uh, is very efficient at receiving uh, ultraviolet or UV radiation from the sun. UV radiation is transferred to the ozone layer, and the ozone layer receives this energy and the ozone particles begin to rub back and forth and bounce off each other as they receive this energy. And this is thermal energy. And they then send off this energy out into the surrounding atmosphere as heat. So this layer here within the stratosphere is warming, and then it sends off that thermal energy as heat. And it kind of warms up the surrounding layer of atmosphere, and that would be the stratosphere. So the ozone layer uh, receives this energy from the sun, it gets warmer, and it sends out that energy because it's warmer, it sends out that energy as heat. So that's why the stratosphere increases with temperature as we increase in altitude. Now I have another video to describe why the thermosphere does what it does also. So stick around and stay tuned for that.